In this video, I will show you how to evaluate a piecewise defined function. Um, we just have to follow the rule. And um, the rules are going to be given on the right side over here. Okay, so this is what they are telling us. We should be able to read math symbols to know which piece we are plugging these into. So what it is saying is this. I'll start with the bottom one. Um, when x, you know, I don't think I have to write down in sentence. This is saying when x is zero, when they give you an x value of zero, plug it into the bottom piece, right? Um, but when they give you a number, when x is not zero, use half x squared plus three. Okay. When x is 0, use 2x minus 1. That's what this piecewise function is telling us to do. So um, 0 will be obvious. We will see a 0 in the parenthesis. But what do you mean not 0? Numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If they give us anything other than 0, we're going to plug it into the top piece. So what are the types of um, numbers they are asking us to evaluate? Starting with the first one, f of 0. All right, what is f of 0? Where do I need to plug this in? Well, they did just say when x is 0, use 2x minus 1, right? So I'll plug that 0 in here. 2 times 0 minus 1, which is 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. So the first answer is negative 1. So the thing about piecewise function, evaluating it is, um, you need to decide which piece that you're going to plug it into by carefully looking at um, the, the inequalities and the equations uh, that they are telling you over here. Okay, so next number, um, I have f of negative 2. Well, they did say when x is not 0, use that half of x squared plus 3. So I'm going to have to plug that negative 2 into this piece, okay? So what will that be? Half of negative 2 squared plus 3. Negative 2 squared is 4, and half of 4 is 2. Finally, if I do 2 plus 5, 3, I will get 5. So when I evaluate f of negative 2, that came out to be 5. All right, how about the last one? Um, it says find f of 4. Well, 4 is definitely not 0, so I'm going to have to use this top piece again. Half of 4 squared plus 3. 4 squared is 16, and half of 16 is 8. If you do 8 plus 3, you will get 11, so the final answer is 11. So again, you know, just have to listen to the function very carefully. If it tells you to plug it into the bottom, you should. If it tells you to plug it into the top, you should, okay? Um, that's the hardest part, really, deciding where is that number going in. If you can read inequalities, you will be fine. Let me give you another one. Oh, this one's a little bit more complicated. So when do you use that top piece, okay? Use this, use this, when x is less than negative 3. Oh, whoopsie, where did that go? Hold on. Sorry about that. All right, I'm back. It just crashed on me. Okay, so when x is less than negative 3, you use that absolute value function, this one right here. Okay? Um, but what if... I'm reading the second one now, okay? If it's x is in between, okay? If x is in between negative 3 and 3, see, that's where x is, right? It is in between negative 3 and 3. But look, it says x can be equal to negative 3, including negative 3, but not positive 3. That's what's happening, right? Um, x has to be strictly less than 3 because it doesn't have a bar underneath it, but x can be greater than or equal to negative 3. So if you have negative 3, you're going to have to plug it into this middle function, okay? All right. So if I were to sketch a picture of 
what can go in here. I will have an open, a closed circle at three, an open circle at three, and I'll tell them everything that lives in between those two, you're gonna have to use this orange middle piece, okay? And what's in between? If you have one, two, zero, or negative one, negative two, or anything in between, you will use this middle function. Oh, I did make one mistake, right? I was not supposed to fill in this circle. I'm gonna go ahead and open this circle because we are not allowed to plug in three into this middle piece. Where does three go then? Well, it says on the last one, if x is greater than or equal to, for x greater than or equal to three, use this square root function, okay? So we know exactly uh, which uh, piece to go depending on the number. So let's start with the first one. I have f of negative three. Now, which piece do I need to plug this into? Is negative three less than negative three? No. Is negative three in between negative three and three, including negative three? Oh yes, right? Remember we said an open, a closed circle at negative three because it says right here, let me go ahead and highlight that important part. If X is um, greater than or equal to negative three, we should use this orange piece of function. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in negative three into that middle piece. It's a quadratic. And if I combine these two terms in the parentheses, I will get zero. So I have to do negative zero squared minus two, but this entire term is just zero, so it turns into negative two. So f of negative three is negative two. All right, what about the next term? The next term is, or, or, or next problem is, f of negative five. Negative five is smaller than negative three, so I will go with the top piece, which is that absolute value function absolute value of x plus 3, so do negative 5 plus 3. Um, that is absolute value of negative 2, and absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. So we're done with the second one too. All right, let's do the very last one. I need to do f of 7. Okay, um, 7 is greater than 3, right? So I should use this bottom square root function square root of 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4, and square root of 4 is 2. So uh, by carefully looking at the, I guess the domain, you know, de depending on the size of the x value they give us, negative 3, negative 5, or 7, we have to decide which piece to plug in these x values. Um, you're going to have similar problems for your homework. Um, and I do remember they ask you for three different uh, uh, the, the, the values to, eval to be evaluated. So try those uh, because that is important. We need to know how to do that before we can um, graph some of these piecewise functions.